Right guys, Kesma here and today I'm going to do a tutorial of how to make indent, indented text and obviously sticky out text as well. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is grab your text tool, if it ever selects it, and just type in a word. So I'm going to write Kesma. I'm also going to change the colour to black uh, so you can see it. Probably white would be better but black's okay. Cause it doesn't really matter. Get your text. I would suggest a font that's got a thicker kind of outline to it. Uh, it's just easier to use. We drag the over there. And uh, next thing you want to do is open the layer styles. So this is all going to be completed with just the basic layer styles. Really easy to use and can basically be put into any background that you wanted to fit in, any textures that you want to fit in. So I'm doing it into this leather, I've got two more examples and you don't need to change any of the settings for the indented text I would say. So what you want to do is come to fill capacity, you would change that to zero and what this does is just make the, if I put a stroke on here, it just makes the, two, what this does is just make the effects of the, the layer seen, not the actual background of the text so what you want to add is a drop shadow an inner shadow with the drop shadow you want to come to the settings here you would go use global light uncheck that change it to 90 degrees uh, change the color to white and the blend mode to overlay as you can see this just highlights the probably where the presses are going to be so the the indented textures Next thing you want to do is come to Inner Shadow. You want to make the opacity, just leave the opacity, uncheck Global Light, change it to 90 as well. Uh, leave the colour as it is, just change it to Normal, and then change the noise to what I like to do is 55%. Uh, you won't see much change here, but if we take any other, other examples, you will do. And that is basically your indented text done. So let's see, uh, you can move it around. If you wanted it to appear more, stay up this corner, you can't really see it, you would have to just come back and change your fill uh, opacity to 35%. Uh, you would also have to change the actual colour to a like, greyer colour. So let's just Let's fill this with twos because that's a nice grey. Press OK. Yeah, I've already done it with all twos, I thought. OK. And as you can see, it doesn't really work that well. So I am just going to. Uh, for this background, it won't work too well. So I don't actually want to do anything with the colour. All I want to do now is take that fill capacity back down to zero. So if I just show you a couple of examples, this is a, a water damage leather texture. I've also got like a, a scratch metal texture which makes it really nice. Right, so I'm not meant to move uh, that, so I'll just put that back into place. That'll do. I'll not really care where it goes. Uh, so that's really nice for well, the textures or the color schemes that I would go for is anything except from pure white and black and the grayish colors of this scheme as it does work with the leather it's it's not really noticeable uh, if you wanted to look like that be brilliant I would use it but if you wanted to stand out you really would need to use something like this light you may metal kind of scratched Brownishy green colours and wood. Also wood works well but I've not got any wood textures on this computer. So another example is I've got this kind of... I don't actually know what texture this is. But you can see with this texture you can see like white dots and that is the actual... Uh, the noise that you put in to the shadow. So what I suggest doing is just taking that down to about 10 for the lighter materials. Uh, so you can't see it as much, it still has the effect but you can't see it as much. Also depending on the size and text that you're using uh, you will have to adjust the distance so you can change the distance to 2 and size to 2 as long as they both match in the drop shadow and the shadow, uh, the inner shadow sorry. As long as they both match they will work. The smaller they get the more clean it looks but 
you can't really see the the A's and the slides of the underside of the Z's. Basically, diagonal lines get kind of hard to say, see at the opposite side. The so where you've got the white. If you want to make it uh, like stick out text, it's simple. You just change the blend mode to normal and black on the drop shadow and overlay and white. Take I will leave the noise on uh, on that and then as you can see it's sticking out but this is where you would need to come and go back to your just normal layer settings and take the opacity just up to make it stick out just that a little bit more so if I for example go back to like a brownishy the darker kind of theme uh, the white needs to be the opacity of the white will need to be custom to what you want it to look like so for this I've got bevel on actually for some reason uh, so what I'll really need to do is change this back to 5 and 5 just for the tutorial so you can see it a lot easier so there you go and you would need to change the the colour to a grey scheme that's okay uh, so basically that's how you make a nice kind of layer styles hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and yeah peace